Hello everyone, Andy Weiss here coming to you from a fairway bunker about 65 yards away from the green. Very difficult shot, a shot that we all dread because we've had the two extremes. We've had that shot where we come down and we hit the sand, you know, really far behind the ball and it may not even get out of the bunker or only goes halfway. It's too long to play an explosion shot, so a lot of times we'll try to pick the ball right off the sand and we're hitting the ball right in the middle and we hit that timer that goes 100 yards and now we're 30, 40 yards on the other side of the green or maybe in a back cooler. Bad things can happen from this distance. So we're going to talk about how to play this, two different approaches that will get you out of the bunker and onto the green with great consistency. Our first approach from the fairway bunker about 60, 65 yards away from the green is going to be with our sand wedge. As we already stated, it's going to be too far to play a traditional explosion shot where we come into the ball or into the ground behind the ball, blast that sand out, ball comes out with a lot of spin. That's not going to work for us because it's too far. So to hit this sand wedge, very similar to what we would with that in-between wedge shot, which we've talked about in previous videos, where we have to control the length of our backswing and then come down with fast body movement, getting the ball before we hit the ground, get that pinch. In this case, we have to make sure we keep our lower body very still. Anytime with a fairway, very that's going to create stable base, less chance of sliding, moving our center of gravity, hitting the ball, or hitting the ground behind the ball. We want to try to hit the ball, we're going to hit the sand. You're going to hit the sand because if you try to pick it, you're going to send it over the green most likely. You're not going to have a lot of control on that shot. So we're going to come down, we're going to hit the ball in the sand, pinching it right at that same time, keeping an aggressive swing through the ball with a stable lower body. Let's see. See, I came down with a normal steep swing hit that ball first, did hit a little bit of sand, ball came out, controlled the distance, stopped on the green really well. Our second approach from the fairway bunker from 60 yards away is going to be with our pitching wedge. We're going to take a little less loft so that we can rely on that club to do it. We're going to take the same basic swing, but I'm going to go into the ground a little bit more I don't have to be as precise because the loft is going to blast things out a little bit farther for me. See that? See that good crisp contact with the ball in the sand? Right at the same time, I went ahead and went down after it. You can see I took a nice bit out of the sand. There was some explosion, but I hit that ball first with my pitching wedge to control my distance. A little bit shorter, more controlled swing. Did not have to be as precise as I was with my sand wedge. Just a quick word on your point of focus, what you're looking at when you're in a fairway bunker, when you set up to the ball, what is that focus point that you come down and hit? Remember, hand-eye coordination, you hit what you look at. If you want to hit the ball first, look at part of the ball. Normally, from the fairway, we're going to look at that blade of grass about an eighth of an inch behind the ball, so if we hit that grass first, we're pinching the ground right under the ball. Here, we want to be a little bit more precise. We want to pick that ball first as we drive into the sand in front of the ball. So look at the very back of the ball before you go to hit your shot. 
Well, there you have it, everyone. Fairway bunkers 60, 65 yards away from the green. You don't have to be scared of them. There's, there's not a reason for you to aim for one of these. This is a difficult shot, so it's not something you would play to. But if you find yourself in this situation, you can get the ball on the green with great consistency. Keep that lower body still, upper body moving quickly. Pinch that ball. Take a little less loft go down after it a little bit more make sure you hit that ball first you can control that distance as you can see we got a couple balls up there close to the hole we're on the green we're putting now we made a good result out of a bad situation stay positive stay quick stay aggressive and you too can get on the green from the fairway bunkers with great consistency if you liked the video, let us know. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share the video with a friend who seems to be in a lot of fairway bunkers. Use this and let us know how your game is improving. As always, keep practicing. We'll see you next time.